So, so far what we've been doing with balancing equations and going over these reactions is we've been writing out what are called molecular equations. So this shows a complete neutral formula, okay? So, you know, a simple example of that would be where we had, you know, sodium chloride aqueous plus silver nitrate aqueous gives sodium nitrate aqueous plus silver chloride solid, right? But again, these aqueous, what does aqueous mean? Water. But it also means that it did what? It, cause this is in water but we write solid. What was the term? Aqueous means it's dissolved. Dissolved, it's dissociated, it's separate. So that's where now we get introduced to things called complete ionic equations. And that's where we're gonna take all the ions and separate them from each other. So for this particular reaction, we would have a sodium ion separate from a chloride. And then we would have a silver ion separate from a nitrate. And then this says sodium nitrate is aqueous. So I'd have a sodium ion and a nitrate ion. But what I won't separate is things like solids, liquids and gases. So this is a solid. So I keep that together as a GCL solid. So the complete ionic equation separates what? What does it separate? The, the elements and the ions. It's separating the ions. It's showing what's aqueous. These are all aqueous, so we separate them. So then you could actually have what's referred to as the net ionic equation. So it's kind of like you ever get your check? That's what you net, right? Your gross pay is before they take out what? Anybody? Taxes. That, exactly. They take out the taxes. Your net pay is what? is left behind. So for a net ionic equation, we're only interested in what reacted and gave us what's left behind. So you have to eliminate what are called spectators, the ions that don't do anything. And if I look, what ions in the complete ionic equation are on both sides? Sodium. And nitric acid? Uh, sodium and then the nitrate are oh, on nitrate. both sides. Okay. So what do we do? If sodium's on both sides, we eliminate it. If nitrate's on both sides, we eliminate it. So a lot of people get confused and they go, well, silver is on both sides. But here, the silver from the silver nitrate was an ion. It's an ion, just like this chloride. But over here, it's part of a precipitate. So your net ionic would be this, Ag plus, plus the chloride. So the silver ion plus the chloride ion gives me the silver chloride precipitate. That's my actual net ionic reaction. That is the only thing that's involved in producing something is these two ions, silver and chloride, nothing else. The sodium and the nitrate are just swimming around in solution. So I kind of just did this, right? Molecular equation. What did we do for the complete ionic? Notice I didn't do it on the last slide because I didn't have a lot of room, but everything that's aqueous is separate as an ion. And how do we know that it's separate as an ion? We use our solubility rules. Whatever's on both sides, 
They're called spectator ions. They don't do anything. They're floating around. And to get the net ionic equation, you basically eliminate your spectators and whatever's left is what's gonna give me the actual reaction. And that's referred to as my net ionic equation. So I want you guys to try this one right now, okay? I want you to try this one. Let's see if I can escape the share mode. I want to look at you. I feel weird. I can't see you. So uh, I want you to try, whoops, I did that too soon. Let me go back. Oh, good, there's a lot of you still here. Let me go back to that share screen. Uh, yeah, let's discard that for now. So we are right here. I want you guys to try to do that. And I'm going to try to figure out how I can see all of you. Oh, there you go. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to see if you can break up that reaction and then we'll do it together. So I'm, a lot of people are on mute. I'm still on share, so it's not. can't really spy on you. <laughs> okay, so what I will do is I'll just go back. Um, oh, look, I see you. Okay. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys, I know, whoops, sorry about that. What type of reaction is this? Single displacement. Joseph, how did you know that? You're exactly right. Is it just because it's A, A plus B, C equals A, C plus B? Exactly. Another way of thinking of it is I have an element and a compound. And what am I going to get? A new element because one element's going to get displaced and a new compound. So the chloride is going to go with the zinc to form a new compound. And what's the new element I'm going to get? Zinc chloride. So that's the new compound. Oh, the new element H2? Yes. Is this balanced other than Joseph? <laughs> no. Yes. I think it is. Let's double check though. It's always good to double yes. check. There's nothing wrong with double checking. One metal, one zinc, one zinc. Two chloride, two chloride, 
two hydrogen, two high. It's it actually is balanced. It's good. It's good. So now, now that we predicted the products, and again, this is single displacement. How do we know? You can think of it as Joseph said. You know, A plus B C gave me B plus A C, right? What do we have to do for the complete ionic equation? Show everything separated? Yes, perfect. So solids are not separated. So we'll just write Zn solid because it's not separated, okay? But for the hydrochloric acid, what does the aqueous mean? Dissolved. So, so this is where we want to start writing coefficients. 2H plus, because that's the ion, aqueous. And you actually want to write aqueous. Plus, guess what everybody forgets right here? Solid? Oh. There's two. Yeah. There's two. There's two chlorides, right? Yeah. So if you think about it, If I have two HCLs and I break them up, I'll get two chlorides. But people don't think about that. So there's two chlorides. And then on the other side, what about this? Do I break that up? I do not. Remember I said solid, liquid, and gases, I do not break apart. So do I break the hydrogen apart as a new element? No. No. Good. No, because it's a gas. Do I break the zinc chloride apart? No. Actually, I do. Why? It's aqueous. It's aqueous. So how do I break it up? It's an ionic compound into its ions. Notice I didn't write Cl2, right? It's not a diatomic, it's an ion. So that is not correct. It's two chloride. So for the net ionic, what am I supposed to do for the net ionic? Remove the spectator ions. And how do I, that's exactly right. How do I identify spectator ions? They look exactly the same where? Both sides. Yes, on both sides. So oh, is it hydrogen? No, the hydrogen does not. Here it's two H pluses, here it's H2. So here it's a gas, here it's aqueous. The two chlorides are exactly the same on both sides. Now someone might say, well, what about zinc? There's no charge on zinc. And it's a solid. Over here, it's an ion because it has a charge and it's aqueous. So they're not the same. So the only spectator are the two chlorides. So the net ionic is zinc sulfur plus two protons. Why do I call it protons? Because that's what a hydrogen ion is. Gives me hydrogen gas and zinc two plus aqueous. This is my net ionic. This is the actual reaction. The chloride the whole time is just swimming around as an ion free floating in the water. So why do we have to be comfortable with this? Guess what you got to do now? 
You've got to write the balanced molecular, complete ionic, and the net ionic for the reaction with lead to nitrate and lithium chloride. So I'll let you guys try that on paper. I'll give you a few minutes. We're almost at 625. We started a few minutes late, but I don't want to go too much over 625. I will also stick around after to ask, answer questions, but I want you to try this problem before I stop. Take a look and see if you guys are check up on you. <laughs> oh, there's a question. Let me take a look. Uh, Ramton, uh, did I answer your question in the PowerPoint? I'm sorry, you asked this a, a bit yes. ago. Okay, yes. thank you. Sorry, I just saw the chat. I'm sorry. So let's start with this molecular. Lead to nitrate. So lead to means it has a charge of what? Plus two. Nitrate, right? So the molecular equation, uh, I don't need to write that. I'll just do this. Molecular will be number one, complete will be two, net will be three. So for number one, PBNO32. Is that aqueous? No. Yes. Yes, Why? because NO3 is soluble. Nitrates are always aqueous, always. So this is actually aqueous, okay? Lithium chloride, lithium's plus one, chloride's minus one. Is that aqueous? Yes. 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 Group, yeah, group one A. Yep. Always. So now I have to do what? What type of actually? What type of reaction is this? Double displacement. It is. It's double displacement. It is not single displacement. Why? It's not an element and a compound making a new element and a new compound. It's a compound and a compound switching partners. So. Who's gonna switch? The chloride's gonna go with the lead. The lead's a two plus. Chloride's minus one. PBCL2. Li and nitrate go together. One to one. Let's do the easy one. Lithium nitrate, is that soluble? Yes. It is. Yes because nitrates in group one are always soluble. If you were in lab and you did this, you would see a precipitate. So by default, this would have to be the solid, the lead to chloride, because we saw a precipitate. If you weren't in lab and you weren't sure that lead to chloride was a precipitate, what would you have to use? Solubility rules. And the solubility rules, the NAG, SAG, in the G and SAG, group 7A is soluble except PMS lead to. But you could always refer to your solubility rules. So number two, we got to break this up. 
PB2 plus, aqueous is going to be tight. Two nitrite minus one, aqueous plus, oh, I didn't balance this. My bad. Put a two here, put a two there. Two Li plus aqueous plus two Cl minus aqueous yields. Do I break this up? The lead to chloride? Do I separate it into ions? No. 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 Solids, liquid, and gases, I do not separate. So I keep it together. Good. I separate this because it's aqueous. And for three, what do I do for the net ionic? Who am I eliminating? The ones that are the same on both sides. And which ones are, Virginia? That would be the two nitrate. Yes. And the two lithium. Li lithium. Yeah. When I cancel those out, what's left? Lead to plus aqueous plus two Cl minus aqueous yields lead chloride solid. And that is my net ionic. So there's a better, <laughs> cleaner view of it. Oops. Um, I can't do that. Okay, I could do that another way. So let me erase all this. I'm sorry. This is all being recorded, so you'll see it again if you want in slow mo. Not the erasing, the slides. <laughs> oh God. Okay, let me erase all this. So there is a molecular equation. It's a little bit neater. Complete ionic, aqueous, we split it apart. Aqueous, we split it apart. Then we have the solid, not split apart. Aqueous, we split apart. What do we eliminate? Like Virginia said, the nitrates and the lithiums are on both sides. And I get my net ionic. <laughs>